Hey everyone, I'm Mitzi Jonel Tan, a 23-year-old climate justice activist based in Manila, Philippines. I first became a climate activist in 2017 when I was able to talk to an indigenous leader of our land. He was telling me about how they were being harassed, displaced, militarized, and killed, all for protecting their land, the forest, the environment. And then he ever so simply just shrugged, chuckled, and said, that's why we have no choice but to fight back. And really, it was the simplicity of how he said it, how he wasn't even trying to convince us of it, that made me realize that he's right. I have to join the struggle of the people who have been fighting for our planet and our environment for their entire lives for decades. I have to join the struggle for a better future. And that is also what made me want to be part of the climate movement because I saw that I wasn't doing this alone. I was doing this with the people of my country and I was doing this with the youth across the world. And it was just this beautiful thing to see that you have a friend from every continent fighting for the same thing that you are. And really when that's happening, when you have a global network of youth who aren't just fighting for the same thing, but fighting together with one united voice for a better and just society, that is beautiful. My favorite action to date would have to be the September 25 global climate strike one was particularly difficult because it was the first time that we were doing something during the pandemic. It was the first time that we were doing something with such a small team, but also we had more protest sites in different cities in that day and we got more creative and really it just shows you how nothing can stop us. If we want to get something done, we can do it. The main focus of my activism is definitely the social justice part of climate activism. I always strive to make it apparent that climate justice isn't just an environmental issue, it is a systemic issue. And we are battling not just the fossil fuel industry here, but systems of oppression because those most impacted by the climate crisis are also those most impacted by the different socioeconomic burdens of society like sexism, racism, fascism, and classism. If there was one thing that I wish more people knew about the climate crisis, it is that it is here and it is a ticking time bomb and parts of it have already exploded and we have to do something and we have to center the voices of those most affected by the climate crisis. We have to center the voices of BIPOC activists and frontline activists. We have to listen to those most impacted because we are the ones who have been fighting for the longest, for the hardest. Something that I really learned through my activism is that we are all very privileged. We all have different levels of privileges, especially most youth climate activists usually are from the middle or even upper class. And so we have to remember that we all each have our own privileges and we all have to be open to being called out and to learning from other people's experiences. and. And not to get hurt when people criticize us because you know that when they're criticizing you, it is because they want you to be a better person. It's because they want the movement to be a better movement. And that is how we grow, by learning, by making mistakes. And, and we have to be open to that. And we have to be open to listening to other people.